Watch out! The sensors are detecting an alien presence. must have latched onto us at Mount Matorx. Let's get him, Millie! Keep focused, everyone! Be careful, everyone! Ha! 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 Guess huh? it's over! It's over? Still see it? The moment your blood touched it, it disappeared. Elia, take Roddick and Millie to sick bay. I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Wait, where did that come from just now? We have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to sick bay. I'll get someone to clean up this mess. Is he cured? I don't know yet. Well, how is he? Don't be in such a hurry there, miss. The doctor's just getting to that. Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated and analyzed the pathogen behind the disease. I'm afraid curing this illness is something that's beyond the ability of Earth medical science. Oh, but you've got all these amazing things! Can't you do something? Anything? The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is an impossible task, young lady. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. There is one possible method, however. Judging by the pathogen structure, 
I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host, the original carrier of the disease, we could use the host's blood to create an immunity serum. So that'll work. I mean, would that work, sir? I believe so. But he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact even after the petrification process is complete. If we could just procure that serum, our patient should be able to make a full recovery. Well, that's something to work with anyway. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazoni is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder, why did they even use this bioweapon on planet Roke in the first place? Roke? The name we've given your homeworld. But Ely is right. I don't see how Lazonia benefits at all from turning everyone on Roke into stone. Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic muscular and nervous systems are highly similar to humans, but there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. What are you getting at, Elio? This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. That would explain the motive behind dropping this bioweapon on their planet. What kind of benefit? Mm, some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. Something that wouldn't even show up on our sensors. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Well, we can't say that for sure yet. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. If that's the case, then they must be removing the petrified bodies from Roke. Let's check that prospect out first. I'll be on the bridge. Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combinations. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Very well. This is what I get for whining about how boring every day was. What are you talking about? You know this isn't your fault. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at me. If I just had more power, then maybe I could have done something. The captain wants you on the bridge. You can take the elevator to get there. Thank you. There you are. Elia has news for you. We compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous figures. The number's gone down by about 200,000. How did they take all of them off the planet without us noticing? So it's true. We're not yet sure if they're building a weapon. It sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating with us in good faith. I'd like all of you to come with us and participate in the reports. Captain, Dorn's condition is worsening. I'll be right there. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. 
I'm afraid he's in critical condition. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die, I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> Please? All right. Get the transporter ready. Yes, sir. Please, let us go back with Dorn. I don't know. We'll come back. We promise. All right. I'll have Elia accompany you then. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doctor. This is a precision maneuver. Don't mess it up. Yes, sir. When you're ready, Ilya. Yes, Captain. Listen, there was something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't say that. You'll just be sleeping for a little while. Get the music box on that shelf for me. I'm giving that to you, Millie. But this is your sister's. I can't take this. Take it. Please. I gave that to... It's all right. I swear we'll save you. I know this is hard, but we've got to go. He needs your help. Right. We'll be beginning our trip to planet Earth shortly. There's a room set up for you, so feel free to get some rest. Thank you. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one, mark 269, warp 6. Look, Millie. Beautiful. It's like an ocean of stars. We're now entering orbit to report to the Terran Alliance HQ. Something's coming right for us! What? What is that? Where? What are you talking about? in or what? I don't think so, Captain. We did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand. I told you it was coming! You two were able to see it, Roddick? That's it. It's made of invisible matter. The entire ship? Captain! The unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. Open a channel. We come as emissaries from Lazonia. We have no desire to fight. Repeat. So, you're saying that Lazonia wants to sign an armistice with us? That is correct. We were not willing participants in the war against Earth. The rumors of a third party working in the shadows of Lazonia were true then. A third party? Yes. They had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. They were the ones responsible for the destruction of planet Issei half a year earlier. idea what their goals are, 
but they have provided us with a wealth of new technology, including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped on planet Roke, we'd like you to provide us with either a vaccine or the original host of the disease, if you could. I'm afraid we cannot. We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Roke 300 years ago. Asmodeus? That's the Archfiend, the monster that was defeated in the Demonic Wars. The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No! There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the planet Roke. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. The hell with that? We've done so much. Traveled all this way to help out our friends. And now what are we supposed to do? Who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago and just held it in storage all this time? There's no chance of finding the host now. The Alliance has decided to seal off Roke forever. There's nothing we can do but apologize. I'm so, so sorry. There is one chance. It's just extremely unlikely it will actually work. You... You aren't actually suggesting we head for Planet Styx, are you? I should have known you'd bring that place up. You'd have to be crazy to suggest that. I'll find a way to get us a ship. But, sir... There's still another option? Well, I hesitate to call it that. But if we use the time gate on Planet Styx, there's... A small chance. But, Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us. We've got to know. I didn't hear any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. Right. Close the entry hatch. Are two people enough for this? Oh, yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer? Yeah. Um, how to explain it? Basically, uh, they're these tools that help people out with the difficult parts of their jobs. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. You do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. All the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Styx. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, all right? Huh. What is Planet Styx, anyway? It's a planet, just like Earth or Roke. We stumbled upon it during an earlier deep space exploration mission. They say that Planet Styx was home to a vastly advanced civilization long before we humans even made it into space. And that's where that time thing is? The Time Gate. We'll use it to visit Roke in the past. The past? Oh, so if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? 
In so many words, yes. But we still haven't fully unraveled how the Time Gate works. It's too dangerous to mess with, so it's been made strictly off-limits. We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Styx shortly. Right. Will it let us in, though? The Time Gate Guardian. The Living Gate. According to the Lazonian Emissaries, a mysterious third party obtained the virus on Rook. Apparently, it all happened several hundred years ago. That it did. The level of technology they have must outclass anything we could even imagine. We'll have to travel through time to a point before they visited Roke and collect a portion of the host's body. Assuming, of course, the gate will let us through in the first place. Oh, Guardian of the Time Gate! Please lend an ear to our humble request. We seek your guidance to the world of 300 years past. We wish to visit Roke as it was in olden times. I am the gatekeeper. Your request has been granted. Let us open the gate to the past. We did it. We need to leave our weapons and communicators here before we enter. If you bring them along, you'll bounce off the gate. Well, here we go. I hope that we're not making a mistake by entering the gate, because once we go inside, there's no turning back. Right, here we go. Just hang tight, Dorn! We're gonna save you, but you gotta hang on! Okay. <sighs> I'll wait for you. <sighs> Thank you, Roddick. Are you sure you're all right? We must hurry. The gate is... <gasps> Are you all right, Ilya? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Where is everyone else? I don't see them anywhere. They should be around here. Maybe. Then again, me tripping back there threw off our timing pretty badly. There's a chance we're a good distance away from each other. Well, we picked a good place to appear. Let's go look for them in this village first. Hang on, I just realized this outfit probably isn't gonna work here. You're right, you'd stick out like a sore thumb. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find something for you. Sorry for the trouble, but imagine what the captain must be going through. Well, good luck then.
Ilya, I've got your clothes. Here you go. Thanks. No peeking now. complain, but this is way too loose on me. I don't think it'll even cover my chest. Uh, well, I'll just go like this then. Oh, are you sure? Well, there's nothing else I can do. I can't change back into what I had on earlier. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to stock up on supplies and rendezvous with the captain. sure what just happened here. Look out! Thank you. 
Was there a postal system on Roke 300 years ago? We used carrier pigeons to transport messages back and forth in my time. Well, not just pigeons. People used other animals too? Yes, such as... <laughs> How did that go? Terrible. The cat went missing for a few days and we never did find out what happened to that letter. It doesn't take a genius to figure that what happened. But then again, she's kind of loopy that way sometimes. Aw, it would have been nice if it worked. What? You want to carry your cat? Hmm, that's weird. What? I have a feeling that someone's talking about me behind my back. Oh well, never mind. We need to find a town, don't we? Oh, right. Yeah. I know you've got your symbology or whatever, but I'm totally defenseless here, with no equipment, no weapons, nothing. Don't worry. I'll help you pick out something to impress the ladies once we find a town. Thanks. What a pain! Good fight. Well, I'd say that's fast. worth ten out of ten. The first thing we need to do is visit all the nearby settlements. The captain's bound to turn up in one of them. Sounds good to me. That ain't true and you know it. Stop screwing with me, you bastard!
heard you were looking for someone to run an errand for you over to Portmouth. Yeah, I've got some cargo I need delivered from the Portmouth weapon shop, but I can't find anyone handy who'd be up to the job. It's been kind of tough to cross Mount Maytorks lately, hasn't it? Well, I'll let you know if I find anyone who can help. Welcome. 